Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ted from the Devils in the Detail. As you can see, we've got our old friend, Mark to escort Mexico back. Um, the car really has uh, not been shown or anything yet this year um, because there's been some little details that uh, Matt's wanted to get better before you know he takes it to a show. So I'll just go through some of the jobs uh, that's been done. Some of you may remember that I uh, prepared this bonnet. Um, this had the stripes fitted on uh, Tuesday of this week. It's now Friday. Um, and basically, the car has come back for some little bits of clean-up. The scuttle, if you go back in the videos uh, where I polished the car in the first place, the scuttle wasn't great. But now it's been back, and um, to be fair, they made a great job of it. Um, you know, considering these are so awkward to paint, you know, that is a good job. So I've just got to go over it, polish it up a bit. Um, you can see, well, probably can't see, but because work's been carried out around the area, there's lots of marks now around the side of these scuttles. These haven't been painted, but I'll need to just polish them again and recoat them both sides. Um, I noticed there's uh, some scratches here on the front wing that I need to get out and basically clean, clean up all the areas where you know it's been in a body shop so they get a bit dirty and the dust gets in everywhere so we're going to clean the engine bay back up um, you know you can see even in these areas you know there's loads of dust on the carburettors there's dust so we're going to give it an engine bay detail but this was wet flatted and coated in ceramic so it shouldn't be too hard to clean up the other area uh, well areas that have been done um, the boot lid was never really in a real satisfactory way um, and this has been repainted now and it just needs finishing the paint job's excellent um, but obviously Matt wants me to finish it off because it uh, still could be a little bit better. But it's a good paint job. Um, but again, where work's been carried out on that panel, this panel's suffered a little bit and is marked, and so is this side. So that needs doing. It's had a brand new spoiler on it. This one's rubber and not neoprene. Um, but it's been put on with sealer, so I'm going to have to mask that off because I can't remove it to do the polishing. And also, the doorstep has been repainted. There were some chips in there that um, Matt wasn't happy with, so that's been repainted as well. But overall, the car still looks great. Um, just needs a real good clean-up some polishing and some recoating. Uh, I've noticed on the roof panel there's some bird etchings. Now this car has been coated with two coats of mose and two coats of skin and it brings me to the point that really ceramic is not bulletproof. The bird etching especially, if you leave it on, you know, for more than two hours, it's going to leave etching. This, I'm hoping, will polish out, but it will mean that I'll have to coat the roof again. Um, and everywhere I'm going to polish is basically going to have to be recoated. But considering it's been in a workshop, and Matt did say that it was filthy, I mean, it is dirty, but it's not as bad as I expected. 
Um, there's a couple of uh, new trims for the C pillars in the back of the car, which is what I'm going to start with before I do any exterior work. I'm going to get the C pillar trims on. I'm going to re-clean the interior before I start on the outside, because you'll have to start with a good wash. Um, but if I do the inside first, and then I'll do the engine bay and get that looking back to how it did. Um, I mean, there's dust, you know, you've seen that I polished all this, that's all covered in dust. And um, it needs to be got rid of, you know, the residues all over the place. Um, but that's what you get in a body shop, unfortunately. It does look to me like this has been dry wiped at some point. Um, so I'm going to need to address that um, and get all the bits of filler dust and everything out the rubbers. Uh, I think these have been repainted, the, the door pillars, they've been repainted as well. But the car is going to look good, there's uh, loads of red residue from flatting inside the lamps. So I'm going to remove the lamps and clean them out. Um, there's a bit to do, you know, but it's um, basically still not far off how it left this, you know, me before. Um, but obviously the panels that have been painted are a lot better and will look a lot better once they're finished. Um, the car itself is lovely. Um, he's also had all the tuning done so it drives right, the cooling's working properly. You know, it's had quite a lot of work since it left me. Um, but now it's back to get it ready for a Ford show at Donington Park. So I'll try and show as I go along what I'm going to do. And uh, I hope you enjoy the ride. So there we have it. And that's the, the first part of uh, what's going to be a few videos um, you know, it's not going to be as in-depth as the first time because it's already been done, but I certainly want to get it back up to that standard. And uh, obviously it's going to need a lot of re-coating. And I'll probably coat the whole car again at the end with skin, um, which is a Gion product, just to ensure that it's uh, all protected again. But just remember that ceramic coating it is, you know, a fantastic product, but when you get high temperatures, um, especially like we had last summer, everything softens up, the ceramic coating resin softens, the um, clear coat, if you've got a car with clear coat, that softens. If you leave it under a tree or you leave any bird poo on it, it will embed itself into the paint and it would need flatting out because it will etch straight through at them temperatures um, as you can imagine as things get up they get soft and anything that goes on it needs to be removed as quick as possible uh, with my own car I'll go out of an evening when the sun goes down and hose off any bird poo or sap um, you know, as much as I can get off without touching the car, I'll get it straight off because I know that it will embed. So be aware that uh, even when you've got ceramic coating, um, you know, it's, it still can be damaged. I will do a dedicated video on the ceramic coatings and how to look after them and what not to do. But I just thought I'd mention it because this car really has not seen daylight as far as I'm concerned, but it's still got bird etching in it, so that's why I've mentioned it. But I'll get on with the work and I'll see you as I go on. See you later. As I thought I'd start with an easy job, which is turning out to be not easy. I've removed the panel, I've already done the one side, and the same this side there's no fixing grommets um, there's one at the bottom that's there 
and I presume there's one behind the headlining that's there. The other two are missing. So I've had to find four trim grommets and it's actually took more time to get the grommets than it will do for fitting them and fitting the trims. But that's where the time goes in these jobs. You never know what you're gonna find until you take someone off. But there we have it. I'll show you the finished article when I've fitted them. Good morning, it's Ted from the Devils in the Detail. Um, because the weather's not been very good the last couple of days, uh, Friday and Saturday I spent doing the inside of the boot lid. Um, the rear lights I couldn't remove because they've been panel bonded into the car. So I shall have to remove the dirt externally when I wash the vehicle. But I spent the day on the interior because it was full of overspray, um, dust, um, and I've had to clean quite a lot of uh, overspray residue off a lot of the things. And the seats especially was very, very dusty and dirty. So I've done the whole interior Got that looking lovely, cleaned all the glass and uh, I haven't done the front screen yet but I'll do that when I've washed the vehicle. So the interior is now looking as good as it left here in the first place. Now today, because it's just started raining again, I'm going to do the uh, engine bay detail again. Now fortunately when I wet flatted and polished all the panels inside the engine bay, I coated them with ceramic. So the paintwork side of it shouldn't be too hard to clean. And uh, I expect that to come up just as it was. But you could see, you know, where the sludge from the body shop is running from the flatting and whatnot. Um, all the carburettors are covered in dust and dirt. And especially, the rocker cover. Now this is a crinkle finish paint and just by rubbing it with a brush is not really going to get rid of all that. So I've got the baby steamer out. So I've got the steam. I've got the tornador out, which um, those of you that have seen these work, they create a vortex which will pull the dirt out. Uh, that's attached to an airline i also got the airline blower, so I can blow off all the residue as I create it. And of course, microfiber rag, a couple of brushes. And I'm gonna set about cleaning this, being as gentle as I can, because I don't wanna mark the paintwork cleaning it when, you know, it, I know it, it was mint. So it's literally, just get rid of all the dust um, that's around and clean the carburation components and especially the rocker cover because the dust has really settled in the grooves. So I'm gonna set the camera up and um, I'll show you a little bit of it, uh, of what I can. And uh, I'll get on with it, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, I'm just gonna use the Sauna door to remove the loose. Now, this is on air only at the moment, there's no fluid coming through it. And I'm going to try and keep away from the electric components. I'm now going to turn the fluid on and give it a light coat. Steamer and the brush 
So that I can uh, move the dirt that we push down into the flange of the rocket cooker. And we dry it out. I know it's like something out of a horror film when you see all this smoke. Now I'm using a really soft brush because I don't want to scratch anything. It's not a stiff brush. So I'm going to give it a blow off. I might as well use the toner door while it's here. Let's turn the bleed off. some of it off now but not all of it so I'm gonna get round the back there's quite a lot of dust that fell round the back of the uh, rocket cover and there's still some grease and dust round the front but it started getting the carburetors up that nice so rather than make you watch it all I'll show you when it's finished but you get a good idea of what I'm doing and how I'm gonna do it I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I've finished the uh, engine bay. I suppose it's took me about three quarters of an hour. And I've completed it and I've used no finishing products whatsoever. There's no dressings or anything. I've just cleaned it as it should look. Um, even down to the holes in the battery. So the battery now looks brand new. And the rocker cover and all associated parts, carburetors, everything looks lovely and clean. The servo, all been cleaned, the bulkheads um, inside the wings. By using no dressings, I know that it's not going to deteriorate because there's nothing on there to deteriorate. It will look just as it should. So I'm not gonna dress all the rubbers, um, the hoses, because of the type of hoses that are on here, the wrap, that's how they should look. So I'm leaving them as it is. I've cleaned all the alternator up that had some staining down the side. And just generally cleaned it all up. And uh, I think it looks beautiful again. Uh, pleased with that. And if the rain had stopped, I could now wash the car and uh, get it ready for the polishing side of things. And I've redone the inside of the bonnet, so that looks lovely. Got rid of all the dust. Actually, I've just spotted a little bit more that I've missed in the right hand corner. So we'll get that off. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's now ready for showing. So the next stage will be give it a good wash 
and then go around check the paints and see what areas need doing. So I'll see you on the next one. I finally um, found the opportunity between uh, downpours of rain to start getting the car ready for washing. So I'm going to give it a couple of snow foams, blasting it off in between and then give it a really light wash. Um, there's already marks all over it which I'm not happy about so I need to uh, get it clean so I can investigate what's been happening. There's some marks on the roof I've found which I don't know what they are yet. Um, so I want to have a good look around the body so I'll get it in the light room once it's washed. I'm not going to film everything here doing the washing because I'm expecting another deluge so I'm just going to get on with it. So I'll see you when it's in the light room. Um, the car has been uh, away, people watched uh, the whole series of me doing this car, but since then, as I said previously, there's been some paint work done. One of the panels was the boot lid. They had finished it quite well, but it wasn't good enough. So yesterday, I did the cutting stage. Um, using Orbital with a Kosh Chem Red with uh, F9 Kosh Chem Compound. Then I've done the second stage with a yellow and F6. Now I'm just doing the finishing now and I'm finishing off. The paint is still not completely cured. It's cured enough, but you know, when you cut the shell. It gasses out again, so I left it overnight. And now I'm going to do the finishing using a rotary with Menzerna uh, 3800, which has always been my go to finishing product. So basically, I'm going to get the boot lid to the level that I want, and then I'm going to show you around the car and show you the degree of. Not damage as such, but you know, the fact that it's not how it went out, and I want to get it back to that. The car's going to be shown, like I said, in a month, and you know, my name's on this car, and I'm certainly not going to let it go out looking like it looks at the moment, so I'm going to do a bit of work on it. But for now, you can watch um, just a little bit, so I'll just do a little bit of the panel. Um, with the finishing with the road street. So, some of you might be interested, others won't, but um, here it is anyway.
And this is a black finishing pad. And I'm going to be able to say that. But I'm also, because when the work was done on the boot lid, um, going over the rear quarters, it left some marks, so I'll put them out as well. So I'll just finish that, the top of that bit as well. Might as well give it a light wipe off with a brand new microfiber and we'll have a look and see what uh, it looks like. Now because the paint is quite fresh and like I say it's probably not completely cured it will have a tendency to try and hold a bit of the compound and so, as you've seen, I tried to diminish the compound as much as I could during the polishing, um, knowing that uh, it can be a spine to get out. And I don't want holograms, we don't do them here. But we booked a special order. I've come to uh, work with my eyes shut. But um, we don't like holograms. No detail, I want all the grams in the work. Right, so I'll bring the camera down and uh, turn it around and you can see And like I say, it's not completely cured the paint, so I might run another finisher over it tomorrow, but that's the sort of clarity we want. Um, I'd like to sharpen it up a little bit, but it won't sharpen yet. Uh, it's, it isn't hard enough. That's what I'd normally do with the road freeze, uh, really dual it which means increased speed and um, get the paint hotter and I don't want to do that on fresh paint so um, I mean this it still looks good so uh, that's what it looks like and um, I'm going to unmask it now and wipe around the edges and then we'll have a look at the rest of the car and see what we need to put right so I'll see you shortly Right, with the boot lid now done, I'm going to address some of uh, the damages in the roof and uh, I'll see if I can show. Probably not, but there's uh, lots of uh, etching. Let's see, etching in the roof. And there's some more over here. Let's see if I can 
show that. More etching and especially over that side there's uh, plenty of uh, marks. So I've masked the roof off so that I don't get in any of the um, rubbers. There's one thing we all hate is cleaning rubbers out after. So that's all masked off. The trims are masked off. Um, there's some marks down the pillars um, that I want to get out. And same this side. Now, on the side of the car, there's quite a few marks. Um, some quite nasty. But I'll do the roof first. Um, how much cutting it's going to need, I don't know. But, you know, I can't let the car go back out looking like it looks now. You know, it's uh, supposed to have been detailed by myself, which it was, and it didn't leave my shop like this. I can tell you that for nothing. And I'm sure if you look back on the videos of this car, you'll be able to see um the level of the finish what it was i mean it still looks marvelous you know from three feet away you you wouldn't know but uh i'm going to put them right and then i'll recoat the car with uh, ceramics again um you know this is uh really if you want to get body work done get it done before you have the car detailed and then we'll put it all right in one go um, but this has had numerous um, attempts at putting it right, you know, paintwork wise. So it is what it is. I'm going to put it right and uh, get it back to how I want it to look, ready for showing. Now, because this has had the stripes professionally fitted, I don't want to polish the stripes, so I'm going to mask off. Um, I might really concentrate more on the top than the bottom. Um, you know, most of the marks are at the top. Um, so we'll see how that goes. You know, there's not an unlimited budget on this car. So, you know, I want to make sure that it, uh, it, it don't come off his honeymoon and then uh, has to pay me for a load of work. You know, he's a nice bloke and uh, you don't really deserve it you know considering he's had it done once i know it's not my fault but at the end of the day you know it's um let's make it look nice for him right then i'm gonna get on with the roof <laughs> 